Okay, in this tutorial we're working at setting up a virtual network. For this you're going to need VirtualBox. You can get it and download it from virtualbox.org. You're also going to want to get Endian Firewall. If you go to endian.com and then click on Community and then there's a download button here where you can download the uh, latest version which is right here, Endian Firewall 2.4.1. Okay, so I've downloaded both things. Once you've downloaded Indian Firewall, uh, it's an ISO file. You're going to want to burn it to disk to make it a bootable disk. So I burned it to disk, and I've got it in my uh, CD tray here. And now I'm going to try to set up a virtual network with this Indian Firewall router as a virtual networking device. So I opened up VirtualBox here. And I've tested this out a couple of times, and I want to get it to work with the latest version, so I'm going to walk through the process one more time. You're going to want to click New. You're going to open up a Virtual Machine Wizard. You'll hit Next. Name your device. Endian Firewall, and this is 2.4.1. And then it's not Windows, it is Linux. And you're going to pick Other Linux, and hit Next. And then you're going to set up your base memory for your system. I'm going to take it up to, um, let's see here, I'll take it up to 756. All right, I'll hit Next. Create a hard disk for it. I'm going to hit Next to create a new hard disk. Next, dynamically expanding storage. Hit Next. I'm going to accept the default fire, uh, hard drive size of 8 gigabytes and hit Next finish and there's the summary so it worked uh, I'll just hit finish here and I've got the Indian firewall set up here now I need to do some settings for it before I get started up so I'll click on s you have to select your virtual machine here I've got this new virtual machine I'll hit settings and I'm gonna click down on network and for the first network adapter I'm gonna pick internal network and that looks good and then for the second network adapter I'm going to enable it and I'm also going to pick internal network adapter for right now later I might switch this to a bridged network adapter but right now I'll pick an internal network adapter so when you set up a firewall device a router you're going to need to have at least two interfaces one maybe for a WAN port uh, that's going to connect out to the internet and the other one for a LAN or local area network so that's why I've enabled two interfaces for this um, this device that I'm going to create okay it looks pretty good and let's see here cable connected I'll just hit OK and then once you have it set up like that you can hit start and it'll fire up your your virtual machine and I'm going to hit next and finish and we'll see if this fires up and this install works it's going to capture your mouse hit enter and you can see here that it sees the Linux operating system and the firewall and it's just going to go through an installation procedure here and I will want to pick make a few selections during the install okay um, English I'm gonna hit tab to the OK and then hit enter and hit enter again uh, you sure you want to install you can arrow down to yes and then hit tab over to OK and hit enter um, I recommend not enabling the console over serial um, and I'll click OK enter and it's now partitioning the virtual hard disk um, in your virtual machine you can see um, your disks spinning up and hopefully this install will be successful okay the installation took some time so I had to walk away but it looks like it worked so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the IP address of my um, EFW firewall to 192.168.0.1 and I'm going to tab tab over to OK and click OK 
All right, it was successfully installed. I need to remove the CD-ROM from my CD-ROM tray and click OK. And it's going to shut down and restart and the server will be installed. OK. All right, there's Indian Firewall. That's the kernel and it's booting. And it looks like the install was successful because we're we're in uh, we're booting the operating system. Watching the boot progress below, and it looks like it's going to come up. Okay, Indian Firewall is up. Uh, you can see here the release number, and it shows you what the management. Uh, URL is. This is what you would use to um, get to the configuration interface and, and the management interface. It's HTTPS 192.168.0.1 colon 10.443, so port 10.443. Um, then there's a limited set of uh, uh, command line uh, utilities here that you can use. You can boot a shell if you put in zero. You can boot a shell. You could reboot it by putting in a one and hitting enter. You could change the root password or change the admin password. So having access to your firewall is important. So I have it up, and now we want to test it out and we want to connect to it. So we've got a running firewall now running in VirtualBox. Okay, this is exciting. All right, we're, we got the Indian firewall. The thing you want to know is you've got this 192.168.1 address. How do you know which interface it's on? You've got two NICs that we created. you got your network adapters. You've got adapter 1 and 2 both set to internal network. But how do you know which one has picked up this IP address? Well, I guess it really doesn't matter, but, but it's like it's good to know. So what you can do is we'll just go briefly into the shell here. Type 0, hit Enter. Now you're in the shell. You can type help for uh, help command to get some ideas. And one of the help commands you can do is show network summary and oops I gotta back out of help first so I uh, enter enter to back out of help and show network summary and I, you gotta spell network right that helps and when you do that, you can see your you, you can see your NICs. You can see here that ETH1 does not have an IP address. So I know, and I also know from experience that ETH0, your first interface, is the one that has the IP address. So I'm going to exit and hit Enter, and I'm back to the prompt. Now what I want to do is I want to go to VirtualBox, and I want to launch another one of my clients. I happen to have an Ubuntu Linux machine here, so I'll start that. Now this is going to be uh, Ubuntu Linux, but it could easily be Windows XP client or something like that, or Windows Vista, Windows Server, anything you want. I'll um, log in. And now that I'm logged in, I'll check my preferences, my network connections. And on Ethernet 1, I've got two NICs on this Ubuntu machine also. Um, but I've configured them a little bit differently. If you go to this Ubuntu machine, and I go to Devices, Network Adapters, my first network adapter is set to NAT, which means that VirtualBox does a nice network address translation so I have internet access. And um, so this gives me internet access on my client. I added a second adapter that has also attached to the internal network, just like the Endian firewall. So this second adapter I want to configure. So in Ubuntu, I opened up network connections and Ethernet 1 and hit edit and you can see under IP version 4 I've given it a 192.168.0.33 address 
I've set the net mask to 24 bit and I've also given myself a gateway of 192.168.0.15 which is not correct I need to change that to 192.168.0.1 which is going to be my NDN firewall I also put my DNS server to 0 0.1 I'll click apply put in my password alright and that's configured now I can open up a client and try to ping the firewall and see if it works I can ping the firewall that's a good sign now if I open up my browser and this is very cool I can go to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.1 colon 10443 hit enter and I'm going to get a warning from Firefox that this is an untrusted site. Do I, I'm going to click I understand the risks. I will add an exception into Firefox, confirm the security exception, and I'm going to now connect to the Indian firewall. Ta-da! That's awesome. Thank you for choosing Indian firewall. Now all I can do is finish the configuration of the firewall device and I've got a virtual network that I'm running through VirtualBox.